All right, so my name is Matt Day, and I'm a photographer from Chillicothe, Ohio. And a lot of people always ask how I got into photography. So it's kind of a long story. I'll try and keep it somewhat short anyway. But um, my brother is four years older than me. At the time, he was 17. I was 13. And he was working on a local farm. And one of the days whenever he was there, he was attacked by a bull. And whenever the bull came up behind him, it hit him and he landed on his neck and that paralyzed him from the chest down. So he was in intensive care up at OSU hospital for a while. And all while he was doing that, my mom was staying there with him and my dad was busy adding on to our house. So that way, you know, he had a room that he could get to. And I was just kind of living with friends and family at the time. I was still in school. It was during the school year. And um, I was just, busy with that and I didn't see my mom and dad that often I guess as much as I normally would because obviously they had other stuff that they were doing so while he was in the hospital my uncle and aunt who live in Florida they flew up to visit him and see how he was doing and my uncle had told me that he'd gotten me a camera and basically just to kind of document whatever it was I was doing you know to one, to show my mom and dad like what I'd been up to because, you know, they couldn't see me very much. And also to kind of document my brother's progress, I guess, like his recovery. So I started doing that and um, I guess I just never really stopped. I was constantly taking photos. And oddly enough, at the same time when that happened, you know, I was 13 and he was playing every sport possible, doing all this stuff where I really wasn't doing anything, you know. I played video games, I did, you know, normal stuff like that. I wasn't playing any sports, so I kind of was just thinking like, you know, I don't want to take what I could do for granted after seeing him being paralyzed, you know, taking away everything that he was doing. So I wanted to skateboard, because that's, you know, something I always thought I'd like to do, but I never actually did it. So whenever he was in the hospital, I got my first skateboard. And I think that, and getting my first camera just kind of went hand in hand you know you pick up a skate magazine there's tons and tons of photos in there whether it be a skateboarding photo or a portrait of you know one of the skateboarders anything so uh, that's really all I did you know once I you know obviously he came home and everything and you know all that but I never stopped I guess just keeping that mindset you know of always having a camera with me so Every time me and my friends would go skating, or if we'd just be hanging out, doing anything, I was always taking photos. And the camera that he'd given me was, it was a Kodak Easy Share. I think at the time it was like a four megapixel camera, which back then, you know, it was a nice camera. And, uh, you know, I used it for a couple years. I mean, it just was so beat down and thrashed that it just, you couldn't even turn it on anymore, you know. Started taking photos. Uh, for my friend Jesse's band and you know at the time I didn't really think anything of it you know he just asked me if I could take one just because I had a camera you know it wasn't like I was a photographer or whatever called myself that I just took photos and um, took those and then a couple other people it was our senior year so they were asking me like hey can you take my senior pictures you know it wasn't like a like I had a job doing it or anything, they were just wanted someone to take it. I think they just felt more comfortable having a friend do it, which is completely understandable. So started doing that, and uh, eventually it just kind of spread. I think you know one person asked me who I wasn't completely you know close friends with them, but you know I was I went to school with them and everything, and you know they asked me if I would take them, and I'm like yeah sure, and they're like okay well how much do you want? And I was just like mean like you know like I didn't understand like why would she pay me you know I was just having fun you know didn't then because of that I really kind of learned like okay I could really make a job out of this you know and actually do it for a living I just can't really I just can't really imagine what else I would rather be doing you know what I mean I mean it's all I do every single day whether it be you know if I go and do a shoot for a job then you know that's my that's my job you know that's my career but at the same time if I have any free time you know I'm always out taking photos um, somehow it's just never gotten old to me you know I think the whole idea behind you know 
just being able to capture that one specific thing and being able to look back on it, you know, it's a big deal to me. I mean, I've always liked looking at old photos and old, you know, home videos, anything like that, just, you know, whether it's just me being, you know, nostalgic about, you know, every little thing, I don't know, but that's just the one thing that's never really gotten old to me, ever, you know, I've always been taking photos, you know, ever since I got that first camera, it's like I've never really stopped. Definitely just uh, really thankful for, you know, how far everything's come, so I couldn't be happier. I didn't understand how, you know, worlds apart digital and film really are. You know, I mean, whether it's even just by looking at it, you can tell, you know, the look of film, the colors, the grain.